Hello Virgos. So this is a reading I got for you guys. So I have to make a public service announcement because I've been missing like crazy um, throughout May. I didn't upload anything, but I had to take a break because I was kind of losing passion for tarot. Um, but the passion is still there. Um, and then there's a lot of things going on with 2020. First we had the coronavirus and then we had you know, the George Floyd's, and we had Breonna Taylor, um, rest in peace to them. Um, and then we have the protests, a lot of crazy stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, but this is the reading that I'm doing for you guys. Okay. I'm going to start with the Romance Angel, the Oracle, and then also I'm going to do the tarot along with the angel answers. Okay. Okay. So... Give me a three card spread. What's going on with Virgo's love life for June 12th to the 30th, 2020? Give me a three card spread. So I got children. Okay. Um, so you might be connecting with somebody that you know from childhood. Okay, this is Venus retrograde season, and Mercury retrograde is gonna happen soon. Um, or this is somebody that you can feel free with, okay? Give me two more cards. What's going on with Virgo's of life for June 12th to the 30th, 2020? Engagement. Mm, okay. Yeah, this is somebody that you see a future with. Like, you've been connecting with them for quite some time. Okay. Give me one more card. What's going on with Virgo's love life for... June 12th to the 30th, 2020. I got two cards that want to come out. Romantic feelings and trust. So I got two cards for you guys. Um, the romantic feelings and trust. So yeah, I feel like this is somebody. Um, you really see a future with them, okay? And this person might be expressing to you how much you mean to them, okay? Um, you might be doing this too as well. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I got let your friends help you. Again, this could be somebody who's a fr friend to you, okay? Um, that's what I'm getting. So, yes, pull the oracle. Give me a two card spread. Oh, wow, that came out of. Wow. Okay, let's see what is this? Fearless self love. This card been coming out like crazy. <laughs> okay, Capricorn had it, Scorpio had it, and you have it, and it's in the first position again. Okay, so I feel like a lot of you guys, a lot of signs, are really practicing self love, which is amazing. Okay, give me one more card for Virgos. 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 Okay. Okay, I got two cards. Ah, let's see if I can get them out. Um, so I got okay. So I got listening to my body and creative cocooning. Okay, yeah, so I feel like a lot of you guys, you feel like this is your person, and you're trusting, bottom of the deck, surrendering. I feel like a lot of you guys are surrendering to love, or this person surrendering to their feelings for you, okay? That's what I'm getting strongly. Um, with creative cocooning, I feel like, yeah, I feel like this is more you being at peace and where things are going. You're not thinking too far ahead, but it's like you know this person's gonna be in your life for a long time. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So let's go with the tarot. Give me a five card spread. What's going on with Virgo's Love Life for June the 12th to the 30th, 2020? So I got the Seven of Swords. Okay. So the Seven of Swords is about self sabotage, it represents cheating, lying, deceit. Okay, let me see what else I'm getting. So probably in the past, this person did this or this person ran away. They were trying to run away from their feelings from you. 
I mean, uh, running away from the feelings that they have for you. Okay. Give me four more cards. What's going on with Virgo's Love Life, June 12th through the 30th, 2020? The Empress in the Verse. Hmm. So, yeah, this person could have been running away from their feelings. Okay. And because of them doing that, they self sabotage the relationship or they're trying to. Okay. And then I got the Empress in Reverse. They might have been some cheating. They might be dating some other people. Give me three more cards. What's going on with Vegas Love Life for June the 12th to the 30th, 2020? The Magician. So things are changing. You might be connecting with a Gemini, another Virgo, Taurus, Libra. Okay. Give me two more cards. What's going on with Vegas Love Life June 12th? Four Swords, a break. Okay. So there was some some form of, I wouldn't say disconnect because I feel like you guys were still energetically connected, but there was some form of someone's trying to take a break, a chill, okay? Put the relationship on a pause. But at the same time, you know that this is your person, okay? Or this person feel that way towards you. Give me one more card. What's going on with Virgo's love life? For June 12th to the 30th. The King Cups in reverse. Wow. Okay. So with this and the Four of Wands in reverse. Wow. Okay. So I feel like there is a break up or a separation from you guys. But for some reason, this person trusts that you will all the time be there for them. Or you are feeling that way towards them. You know that this is going to be your person. Okay? Even though that you guys are on break and it's on pause. Um, now, I feel like if this person had been trying to run away from their feelings, I feel like they're still going to be that way throughout June. Because the last position at the King Cups in a verse. So this person might pretend like they're emotionally unavailable. Or they might act really calculated very manipulated okay clarify the king cups in reverse clarify the king cups in reverse at the nine pentacles so yeah i feel like they're gonna act like they're single they want to they want to portray that they're good by themselves clarify the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups in reverse yeah they're gonna i feel like with them they might disconnect. They might try to date other people. But I feel like when they date other people, they're not going to be satisfied. They thought the grass was green on the other side, but I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that they're going to be disappointed. Clarify the Nine of Cups in reverse. Clarify the Nine of Cups in reverse. The Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I don't feel like they're going to find somebody. Okay, nobody can replace you, but I don't think they can try to find somebody to replace you. Okay? That's what I'm getting from that. Um, okay, so let's clarify the, let's clarify the four swords, clarify the four swords, their wands, clarify their wands, clarify their wands, the moon in reverse. See, I feel like a lot of you guys are thinking about either reaching out to them or expressing how you feel, Okay. Or let's just say you're the one that break up with them. They're wanting to reach out how reach out to you to explain how much you mean the world to them. I feel like it's the other person who's waiting on that person is gonna do that. Rather than the person that left. Okay? Clarify the moon in the first. Clarify the moon in the first. The nine wands in the first. Now they want to be open. Now they want to be open for love. <laughs> okay, at the bottom deck, I'm seeing that they spying on you as well too okay so whoever left i don't feel like that person is going to be the one who want to open up so if you left i feel like they're going to try to open up to you okay now if they left i feel like they're going to try to have this persona like they can do bad by themselves they're dating other people but when they're dating other people they're not finding somebody who's their match or finding someone who is better than the connection that they had with you okay clarify the magician clarify the magician 
I find the magician. I have the six of wands in the verse. I have six of wands in the verse. I have six of wands in the verse of devil. Yeah, I feel like this person right now, they want to get attention from other people. They might have attention whore dumb, okay? Um, <laughs> that's what I'm getting. I feel like right now they're operating, operating on ego. Clarify the devil. I have the strength in reverse, okay? So some of you guys might be done with a Leo. Um, I feel like, yeah, right now they're acting, operating on ego purposes, okay? And they want to get attention from other people as well, okay? If they leave, if they left you, that's what I'm getting. Now, if you love them, they're kind of viewing that, viewing you that way, like you're trying to get attention from other people. Clarify the inference in reverse. I have the judgment, and I got the wall in the verse, okay? So, again, you know things between you and this person is not over, okay? Clarify the judgment and the world in reverse. Clarify the judgment and the world in reverse. Clarify the judgment and the world in reverse. Eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, you know that they're going to come back. Okay, or they feel like you're gonna come back to them, or if they come back to you, they feel like someday, somehow, some way, you guys wanna reconnect. Okay, that's why I'm getting strongly. Okay, clarify the seven of swords. Clarify the seven of swords. Clarify the seven of swords. I have the two of wands in the verse. Clarify the two of wands in the verse. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay, probably this person was feeling like this is what I'm getting. Someone was feeling like the connection was moving too slow. So to get out of that connection, they want to get attention from other people. They try to see the grass is green on the other side. They're not seeing the grass is green on the other side. Okay, that's what I'm pretty much getting throughout the reading. Okay, and you know that this person at the end of the day will want to be with you. Okay, that's what I'm getting. All right, clarify the four of wands in reverse. Clarify the four of wands in reverse. I got the five of wands. Yeah, so there was a fight, an argument, something happened. Clarify the five of wands. Clarify the five of wands. I got the king of wands in reverse. Strong Leo. I keep getting Leo. I got Gemini. I got Libra too. Um, the strong Leo. Um, there's there was a disconnect. Someone felt like they was moving too slow. Somebody felt like they was waiting in vain. They went out, date other people, but it's like they can't. They cannot replace you, basically. They cannot, and it's like you have a knowing that they're gonna come back or. They have a knowing that you will accept them back. Something like that, okay? Clarify children. Clarify children. Ace of Wands. So, right, this is someone that you have a child with. This could be your baby mother, your baby father. This is somebody that you see that you can have a child with, okay? Um, there's a lot of passion. Again, you guys bring out, I would say, the best out of each other at times, <laughs> okay? Um, but you bring the fire out. Like, you guys have... You guys can be yourself, okay, when you guys are together. Clarify engagement. Clarify engagement. I have the five of pentacles and two of pentacles. So even though right now at the present moment, you kind of feeling like the five of pentacles or this person feeling like the five of pentacles, you're kind of iffy, but it's like you have this inner knowing that this person is going to come back or this person is going to try to make it work with you. Clarify um, romantic feelings and trust because you probably feel like this connection is very strong is unbreakable or they feel that but towards you clarify romantic feelings and trust clarify romantic feelings and trust hey man verse yeah i feel like a lot of you guys are have like listen to your intuition you're listening to intuition and it's your intuition saying nah this person is, is not done <laughs> okay clarify the hey man in reverse clarify the hey man in reverse 
the page of wands in the first. Yeah, your intuition say no, it's not done, even though they might act childish with the page of wands, with the children card being there too. Something's not over, okay? So I, I'm gonna, like what I'm pretty much getting is that someone left, it could be you or the other person, they're trying to see what's going on. The grass is not green on the other side. And someone know that the connection is not over. You guys are gonna come back. That's what I'm getting, okay? So I'm going to pull a five card spread for the angel answers. All right, so give me a five card spread. What's going on with Virgo's love life for June 12, 2, 3, 2020? I got a year from now. Okay. Give me four my cards. What's going on with Virgo's love life from June 12, 2, 3, 2020? I got listen to your intuition. Oh my gosh. Your intuition is really on point. Okay. Whatever you're feeling is a yes, basically. And I feel like it's more like you know that the situation is not over. Okay. Give me three more parts. What's going on with Virgo's love life for June 12th to the 30th, 2020? Give me three more cards. What's going on? The situation will improve. So you can see my cards. What's going on with Virgo's life for June 12, 2030, 2020? Abundance. <laughs> Give me one more card. What's going on with Virgo's love life for June 12, 2030, 2020? And unlucky. Okay, so I got unlikely. That's weird. Okay, be assertive. Okay, yes, this is like the card that throw it off. <laughs> Okay, but over here, I'm going to clarify the unlikely. So I got a year from now, listen to your intuition, the situation improving abundance. Okay, that's what I'm getting. I feel like things are not over between you and this person. However, I do got unlikely, so let me clarify. Let me see what I'm getting for unlikely. Clarify unlikely. Clarify unlikely. Clarify unlikely. Clarify unlikely. Clarify unlikely. Improving health. Okay, I feel like what the card's trying to say is that you guys will get better together. Okay, it might take a year from now. But when it comes to improving health, I feel like the ultimate change, I don't feel like this person is going to be completely 100% evolved. I feel like they're still going to have remains of unevolved energy of sh their shadow side. Okay, clarify improving health. Meditation bring answers. And within the next few months. Yeah, I feel like... Within the next few months, meditation bring answers and improving health, they're probably still going to be the same way. So when you're still connecting with them in the next couple months, they're probably still going to act the same way and still be the same way. But probably a year from now, that's when it's actually going to be way much better. Okay? I'm just seeing the situation between you and this person is not over. They think it's over, but it's not. <laughs> okay? Um, or you may think it... It's over, vice versa. Um, I just feel like someone can replace you, basically. They cannot replace you. Okay? <laughs> so that's the reading that I got for you, Virgos. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading with me at queenfigatero at gmail.com.